The German government has made it illegal to use Tesla spy cars. Is Elon Musk working on a major project? Is it possible that Tesla's CEO Elon Musk is spying on countries like China and Germany? Tesla cars have been banned in Berlin, Germany's capital city because of fears that the car's high-tech cameras may be used for surveillance. An earlier ban on Tesla's entering a vacation town where China's most elite officials are meeting was made just one day before this. According to reports, the LKA, Berlin State's criminal police agency, is said to have confirmed the prohibition. Hey guys, it's good to have you back here at Tech Revolution. Today, let's look at some fresh news about Germany shutting down Tesla cars, which could change everything for the electric car maker. The State Criminal Police Office has ruled that Elon Musk electric vehicles will not be allowed in any city police complexes within its control. It was just a matter of weeks after Tesla's new gigafactory outside of Berlin opened its doors when the ban was put in place. An internal police document that was made public, the restriction is declared to apply to all premises of the police headquarters and the state criminal police office. The reason for this is found in the Tesla sentry mode. The Berlin police considered the feature a spy mode, even though it was originally intended to keep the EV safe from theft or vandalism by photographing the car's immediate environs. As a result of the internal letter obtained by the local media, their officers, third parties, and police stations as a whole would be at risk of data breaches and other difficulties such as privacy. In response to the reports, an LKA official said, the other division should now check for themselves to decide the degree to which they can drive Tesla vehicles onto their premises or into things. Tesla automobiles are already forbidden from entering Bidehi, a town located in northern China. This is due to worries that the car's cameras may be used to eavesdrop on a meeting of senior government officials. According to Chinese officials, automobiles will be banned from entering the district for two months starting July 1. According to an internal document, the restriction has been enacted in Germany because of a security-related threat to workers, third-party security and data protection, and the Berlin police property security. Additionally, the letter from the internal police department highlights the prominent placement of 360-degree cameras in all of Elon Musk's car. Tesla's vehicles continuously record and export video records of their whole interior and outside environments, regardless of any particular incident. The recordings are stored on Tesla servers in the Netherlands. According to the letter from the police department, this is because Tesla owners appear to have no knowledge of how their data is handled. But a Tesla recording is thought to be off-limits to the authorities. According to the letter, anybody can request the data, but only Tesla has the right to decide whether or not it is made public. The conduct appears to have the potential to affect a senior police officer. According to reports in German media, he claimed to be driving a Tesla owned by Directorate 2 Chief Thomas Goldlack, who lives west of Berlin. It is reported that he will have to assess whether or not this private Tesla vehicle may continue to visit police facilities. Elon Musk, a billionaire tech entrepreneur, is rumored to be considering expanding his Tesla plant in Germany to develop the electric vehicle company's first big hub in Europe. Elon Musk and German Chancellor Olaf Scholz launched a $5.5 billion manufacturing facility south of Berlin in March. The facility occupies a total of 741 acres of land. As reported by the Brandenburg state government, Musk intends to develop the area and perhaps turn it into its first big European hub. On May 5, a representative for the Ministry of the Environment in Brandenburg stated that the state government is aware of Tesla's plans to purchase more property east of the Tesla site. Tesla also intends to establish a battery facility in Brandenburg, Germany. According to local media, the company intends to buy roughly 2,400 acres of land to the east of the present facility to create a storage facilities in a freight terminal. Reports say that about 14 acres of the planned extension site belong to the electrical supplier EDIS, while the rest of the land belongs to the state of Brandenburg. The assembly plant will be able to produce 5,000 automobiles per year when the first phase of expansion is complete. On the other hand, Tesla declared that it would only gradually boost production, yet it is unclear when the desired quantity will be achieved. 
For Elon Musk, developing the cutting-edge battery cells he aims to make in a new battery facility is presently underway. Rumors that Tesla is planning an expansion have not yet been confirmed by the business. An industrial district designation would need an updated development plan for a site like this. Tesla has not yet submitted a formal proposal to the state. Elon Musk's $5.5 billion gigafactory was given its final environmental permit in March by German authorities after a lengthy clearing procedure as confirmed by the Ministry of the Environment of the state. Musk thanked Germany Brandenburg and Grundheide at the launch, saying he was grateful to all three. Not only has Tesla been banned in Germany, but it also has been banned in China due to similar safety concerns about the built-in cameras and Tesla vehicles being used for spying. There will be a two-month restriction on Tesla automobiles entering a town that will host the Chinese Communist Party's secretive annual leadership meeting. Traffic police in a Chinese seaside resort town of Beidehi have stated that a restriction took effect last July 1, according to Reuters sources. The official, who refused to reveal his name, indicated that the decision influenced national affairs but did not explain why. He promised that further investigation would be released soon. Tesla vehicles come equipped with several cameras on the outside that may help the driver with parking, lane change, and other functions. A few weeks after Xi Jinping, China's president, visited Chengdu, a city in the center of the country, Tesla vehicles were barred from driving on portions of the city's roadways. Chinese military officials told persons who had seen the directive that the cars would not be allowed entry into their facilities because of security concerns raised by cameras mounted on the vehicles. This happened the year before. The company's creator, Elon Musk, responded to the military's decision by stating that the cars did not spy on China or any other country and that the company would be shut down if it did. A few months later, Tesla said it would keep all of the data generated by the automobiles it sells in China. In July and August, the municipality will boost its already formidable security measures by building roadblocks and completing full background checks on anyone of interest, such as foreign journalists. This year's conclave holds particular weight because it will take place ahead of the once-in-five-year Communist Party conference, which is believed to signify the beginning of Mr. Xi's third term as President of China. Mr. Xi is the only leader in China to reign for longer than the usual two presidential terms since Mao Zedong. What do you think? Does Tesla really spy on its users and uses that data for profit? Let me know what you think in the comments section below. It's open and free, so you may write as much as you want. And you've reached the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new to this channel, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell button to get updated on our latest videos. Don't forget to like this video and see you next time.